Okay, so for those who are just coming in and didn't see last week's Sovereign Citizen whatever day it was, there's this interesting fellow in Canada who claims to be a judge. He's not. And he believes that the Canadian government is illegitimate and somehow an American corporation. Yeah. So he's been calling different governmental agencies and yelling at them. Here's an example from last week, which is pretty amazing. Do you understand that's criminal not identifying yourself and you're not a government? You're a USA-based corporation. What's your name or your supervisor's name? You cannot not identify yourself. Then fuck you, bitch. We're coming for you. We're going to come find out who you are through your work. I'm getting private investigators and we're going after all of you. We're a real government, you fucking cunt genocide piece of shit. You fucking feel me, you fucking bitch? This is all recorded? Lee, Lee, you're fucking done, bitch. I'm a judge. You're fucked. So that fine gentleman continues to do his sovereign citizen nonsense, and here we have a video of him explaining what he thinks a society is, and why he believes he's exempt from society as we understand it, the laws all applying to us equally, at least in theory, if not in practice for the wealthy, right? So let's see what he has to say. Hi guys, how you doing? It is Marcel of The Family Beset. Today I am going to be talking about the definition of what makes a society. So some people try saying that our society isn't real. I'm going to prove that's wrong right now. So the definition of a society, uh, I'm going to be explaining that. I'm also going to ask a bunch of questions for you to go answer for yourself. You answering these questions will prove I am right. Within that, you need to answer them because I can tell you the right answers all day. And you may not have enough knowledge to understand if that's correct or not. He is way too close to that microphone or something. Like, I know I don't have, I don't have the best audio in the biz, but I have the exact same microphone as him. See? You can tell. But at least I have, like, a windsock. And, like, it's on, like, a mount that's, I don't know, it's squeaky. But if I don't touch it, it's fine. I don't know. I feel like my audio is a little less blown out than his. I think he has his gain turned up too high or something. Um, I'm getting some people and hate comments and stuff as well as some really really good questions from people So I'm doing this just for the doubters the haters to put them in their place as well as to let anyone who wants to know know How and why this is right? So what is the definition of a society? The best way I ever heard it put is a society is defined as three or more people joined in mutual consent for a common goal that common goal could be I love puppies that you know there are lots of societies out there let's look at the actual dictionary definition of society just because I feel like that's a faulty definition considering that could apply to like a family which I would argue is a separate entity right like a family isn't a society in and of itself but let's take a look I don't know what the actual society oh hello kitty wow you could have knocked that over that would have been a disaster <laughs> Society, the aggregate of people living together in a more or less ordered community. An organization or club formed for a particular purpose or activity. So, uh, it doesn't have a specific number of people or anything, but basically a group of people coming together for a ordered community. Fine. That makes sense. That's right. What makes a society? Three or more people join a mutual consent for a common goal. Now, let's go here. Okay, uh, let's go big. Let's go to share screen. And I'm going to show to you guys that we are, in fact, a society of three or more people. Oh, let's close. Let's go. Do you have to establish that we live in a society of three or more people? I think we know that Canada or any province, province of Canada has three or more people in it. Let's reduce that. Cancel. Okay, so let's go to... Ooh, he's going incognito. Is this about to get spicy? Sovereign citizen triple X material. Let's see if there's been three people in Peacemaker Society or not. Now, first of all, our founding document has myself, Craig Clark, and John Simons as the founders. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so for those who don't know, this Marcel Bissette guy has basically a club that you could maybe call a cult also. So I'm guessing he's going to take his club and his website looks terrible. That... That image is blown up way too big. But anyway, he's going to claim that the little, little cult slash club that he has is somehow a society. Okay, fine. That made it 
Peacemaker Society exists. There were three witnesses. You need three witnesses to make any document lawfully admissible in any court, hence three witnesses at a wedding. Um, and also three witnesses in court is considered valid testimony. Less than three is open to possibly being hearsay. But if you have three people that saw the same thing, a courts will, will generally um, acknowledge that as being more or less fact. Is I don't know the legality of that in terms of either American or Canadian legal proceedings. I have no idea what the standard is. Like, I know hearsay is basically like, I heard someone say this or I, I, I you know... That kind of thing, like an affidavit could be hearsay, but I don't know if there's any amount of, like, individuals corroborating something that raise it from hearsay to some other standard. I have no idea. My understanding. And to all the people out there, no, I'm not a lawyer. I don't pretend to be a lawyer. I am a sales consultant. That You literally claimed to be a judge in the other video. You said, I'm a judge and you're fucked, bitch. You said those words. A judge is above a lawyer in terms of, like, authority is good at researching things and i got to the bottom of how this stuff works in contract uh let me just go to he's not even a judge no he just claims to be he's a sovereign citizen squid's playing cthulhu saves christmas for charity can we raid her at the end sure i'm just trying to go to the page that has the photos of our staff from the past and people that have been members and joined okay so there's this one and then last but not least oh you know what? no it's in our headquarters one here i remember which one it is now so anyways guys uh so remember a society is defined as three one two three or more people join a mutual consent for a common goal here's the photos it'll just take a second for that to upload Okay, so these are people that have either worked with us or actually been members or run programs. And again, all of these people. This is the ugliest format. And again, I'm just critiquing the visuals. This has nothing to do with the sovereign citizen stuff. What a terrible format to have your like <laughs> image database in for your website where it looks like it's all in a circle like that. It looks terrible. Our people joined a mutual consent for a common goal. Now, a lot of these people are independent contractors, but over the years we have had members actually join. Now, I am the signatory. I am who this has been entrusted to because I did all the work through all of this. I've ran all the meetings. I paid all the costs. When other people had other priorities, I was a soldier and I kept going. So I'm really excited and really happy because all of my work is proven and done. Uh, also to the people that are trying to pretend that what I'm doing isn't valid. Uh, you'll see global competent law jurisdiction on our website here. If I scroll down, you'll see that. Okay, these are actual notice of identity documents from a lawyer. This is resolution of officers, members, unincorporated association at a bank. Okay, so it's absolutely proven, you guys. I mean, I'm sure it's an official club or organization or whatever they formed it under, but that doesn't mean what he thinks it means. Like, forming a club or a non-profit or whatever this organization happens to be under doesn't mean that you are, like, a society in and of yourself. I guess if you use society as, like, a definition, like, clubs can be called, you know, societies. But it doesn't mean the same thing as, like, a society, like, American society or Canadian society, right? Like, if you have a club and you call it a society, that's valid, but it's a different kind of society than a governmental controlled society like a country or a city or a state. Just because you started a club doesn't mean people within that club can start to say that you're sovereign and the laws of society as a whole don't apply to you just because you've banded together in a club. That's not how it works. Uh, notary stamp that I'm correct. My identity document, page one, page two, just showing you guys. And uh, that was the notary stamp on page three. Uh, so if we go to the YouTube videos here, I'm going to take you guys through a few of the videos and some of the comments. Um, so a few questions I have for you is, can anyone force you to contract? And if they do, is that contract valid? Call a lawyer. Don't tell them it's to do with sovereignty. Just ask a, a corporate lawyer. Okay, but that's the problem. You're asking them without the context of what you mean. Can someone force you to sign a contract in terms of some sort of business deal or even a personal contract between two individuals? No, but you're defining obeying the laws of society and like governmental laws applying to you. You're saying that that is a contract and therefore you have not consented. Therefore, 
rules don't apply to you when that's not what it is. No one, the, the, the fact that the government sets laws and those laws apply to you is not a contract. Sometimes we colloquially will call that agreement the social contract, but it's not a literal contract right? You don't need to say, oh, I consent to laws applying to me. They just do. Like, these people are just, like, frustrated, and I understand the frustration inherently to be like, I didn't ask to be here, and now all of a sudden I'm here and I gotta, you know, <laughs> have a job and, and pay taxes and, and, and vote and care about things. Like, I understand the existential thought of, like, I did not consent to exist, yet here I am and laws and rules apply to me that really it's not fair, I guess, in some sort of, again, sort of out there idea of, 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 I don't know, existing in a vacuum outside of these things. But it is nonetheless the way it is, right? I'm not telling you you have to like it, but you do have to accept it. And to try and come up with loopholes for why you think these laws do not apply to you, up to and including, like, going to a contract lawyer and saying, like, can someone force me to contract? And this guy, this idiot, telling you, Oh, but don't tell them it's a sovereign citizen thing, because the lawyer will explain exactly what I've explained. They'll do so more eloquently and with more citations to actual law, because they know what they're talking about. But, nonetheless, they're gonna say, you can't just exempt yourself from society by defining the rule of law as a contract that you don't consent to. Because that's not how it works. <laughs> If anyone can force you to contract, if someone puts a gun to your head, is that a valid contract? Okay. And does that apply to all corporations? Yes. Limitation of powers, Corporations Act. Go look it up. The government isn't a corporation, at least not a private for-profit corporation, the definition that he's using. Uh, so again, reading my hate mail, prove I'm legit. This video here proves I'm legitimate. Again, we went all through it. I show the proof. And yet people are still commenting like I'm not. So let's go down here. I'm going to show you guys one of these jackasses. Oh, just turn comments off if you're going to delete them. I just posted that, uh, fuck off. Go listen to the voice in your head, you fucking loser. 41 subscribers, you're not PewDiePie. You wish the loser, fuck you. <laughs> He's so... What, what beautiful eloquence from this judge. <laughs> he also spelled, I think, schizo wrong. Which you shouldn't really call people anyway, because that's pretty derogatory towards people with actual schizophrenia. But nonetheless, he spelled it wrong anyway, I'm pretty sure. Um, I had also put on there it's my channel and I will run it how I want. Uh, I'm not sure why that. By this same token, since he's making fun of this guy, and I don't, you, you really shouldn't make fun of the number of subscribers people have because YouTube's a bitch, right? Online, whatever you want to call it. Online entertainment, online edutainment, online personality shit is, is, is a, a big luck thing, right? Um... Making fun of people for having very few subscribers generally isn't a great thing to do. I think I've fallen into that a couple times, but, like, this guy's making fun of this guy for having 41 subscribers, right? But this guy has 833 subscribers. I have almost 8,000, so could I say this same thing to this guy? I guess I theoretically could. I'm not going to, though, because I don't think the validity of your points has anything to do with the number of subscribers you have. Because there's always a bigger fish, right? By this logic, like, PewDiePie is the most intelligent man on YouTube, and he's not. <laughs> so, your number of subscribers has nothing to do with whether or not your points are valid. It's not on there. Anyway, I'm not going to comment on that right now, so whatever. Um, but yeah, so if we go back to YouTube again, I'm going to go to one of the other ones. Uh, again, I have uh, people from this group called Quatloos, uh, who are ex-lawyers and cops, apparently, uh, or so I'm being told by some jackass commenting on my stuff. And um, let's go down to the one that they're in there. Is PewDiePie still the biggest? I think he is. Let me double check. Who has the most YouTube subscribers? Yep, PewDiePie. PewDiePie. No, T-Series, whoever T-Series is. Interesting it says PewDiePie, but these numbers say T-Series is above by 50 million or so. Let me look at the actual website. Yeah, T-Series. PewDiePie's number two. Wow, WWE's at, uh, right there. Didn't know that. That's interesting. Anyway. No, I don't feel...
feel like T series is an Indian music thing. Oh, okay. So I guess PewDiePie would be the probably most subscribed individual, even though I'm sure PewDiePie has you know people who work for him and do editing and stuff. But still, he's the channel. So signing in. Maybe if I click, I just want to go to my channel here. Give me one second. <laughs> yeah, I know that guy. Let's try and pause that. Okay, let's get that pause. There we go. Okay, so let's find it here. Here we go. So debunker. Uh, if you don't already know, your BS has been tracked by real lawyers, judges, cops, and uh, blah, 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 quat lose. Debunker. Glad you brought those assholes up. They're not lawyers. They're expert or uh, nor are they experts. They don't allow me to defend myself and prove I'm right. Michelle Maddock identity document. They just choose not to believe and hate on me. They're ex tax officials, I believe, who are full of shit. Quote me, sue me if I'm wrong, quat lose or a lie. Uh, so this guy says, here we go. Incorrect. I spent a period of one year with them as I was coming out of my free man trance. True, there are many current and former tax officials, but I also conversed with many lawyers, cops, FBI, and even a few and former judges. In fact, the judge who wrote the infamous Meads versus Meads Freeman court decision is a member of Q under a pen name, of course. Uh, for an idiot who has been in the game for seven years, you clearly absolutely know absolutely nothing. Again, society, three or more people join a mutual consent. That guy's an asshole. Fuck him. Uh, my society is in harmony with actual law. Legality is not law, nor are legal contracts. Legality is not law? What? What? Just rules given force of law. If there were a valid contract, which there isn't, dumb fuck. If I break the law, I am liable, yet I do not, as my law is correct to law. See my identity document for proof from lawyers. Um, so, again, the reason that I tie into people like that, let me go off, uh, stop the share there. So, the reason that I, I tie into these people all the time, you guys, is because I deliberately come across a little awkward to, to, to get the haters out to come at, out at me. You don't really come off as awkward. You, you speak, you know, relatively, <laughs> I'll say you speak confidently. Um, you just kind of seem like a jerk. Like, you're very mean, you you swear at people immediately when they push back against your nonsense. You're just kind of a jerk, that's how I would put it. You're not awkward, you're just mean. They're different. I know how to be cool. I know I look a little schmucky, these glasses make me look a little whatever, not as credible, whatever. I do that all I don't think your glasses don't make you look credible, I think the nonsense that comes out of your mouth makes you sound incredibly not credible because none of the things you're saying are true. I actually like the glasses, this is a good look for you. You just need to change all the nonsense beliefs. On purpose because my results are credible. I don't care if people come out at me, in fact I hope they do. If you dislike my videos, I know you're never allowed in our society, I love it. If you talk shit to me, I know you're a moron and I know to stay away from you. Everything that happens around me, I have designed on purpose. You are He's Machiavellian. Him, his green screen, his white glasses, and his microphone without a mic sock. Ah, I can do everything except recognize I, I am, I'm, I'm playing 7D chess five steps ahead, except I can't figure out that I should have something on my mic so when I make pee sounds, I don't pop into the microphone. He's Machiavellian, though, just so you know. He's, he's, he's 12 steps ahead at all times. All working with my systems, whether you cooperate or not. Okay, I love it when you hate me. I love it when you love me. To the people who hate me, I hate you far more. Okay? People like you or who took my kid or had me raided or all that other stuff before when I was younger and I didn't know my rights. Oh, boy. Oh, no. So, fuck you. Okay, I hate you way more. You hate me because your shortcomings. I hate you because of things that have actually been done to me, and I recognize you're exactly like the people who did it. So fuck everybody who's like anyone who violated me or would. And to all the people who would lynch me, I'm tougher than you. You're lucky you don't step up or I would fucking fuck you up. Okay, I've been over 500 fucking street fights. I know self-defense. <laughs> oh, I know wait, how to speak to you wait, what? <laughs> He's been in... <laughs> okay. I, you've been in five, over 500 street fights, not a hundred, not 50, 
over 500, which implies that you were counting up to 500, and then at that point you're like, and I'm just, I'm doing this weekly, so what, what, what would the point be? You're telling me you're getting into street fights on a weekly basis? <laughs> at least a monthly basis, and that's assuming he's been, he's been getting into street fights since he's like eight years old, okay? That's dangerous. Don't get into that many street fights. If you get into one street fight, maybe you just ran into an asshole. If you get into 500 street fights, you are a fucked up person that needs help and probably anger management. Will make you touch me. And when you touch me, I know how to fuck you up. That's why I act awkward. That's why I don't care if you guys talk shit. I just went through 500 comments today and I laughed at you. Oh, maybe 500 is just a number he uses a lot <laughs> to mean a very big number. 500 street fights. And I went through 500 comments. Sure you did. You have 833 subscribers, but I'm sure you got 500 comments the other day. <laughs> you guys i also it made me feel better because it's the same 10 or 15 people commenting over and over and over and over again and the fact that you guys keep commenting shows i'm right shows you're a loser or you wouldn't care so fucking much that's true i'm definitely a loser but for reasons completely divorced from finding you very very entertaining that's why i'm gonna keep doing this one i serve god that's who i serve not my haters or my fans i don't how does jesus feel about you getting into 500 street fights because jesus said that if your enemy strikes you on your cheek then you should turn the other cheek not kick their ass right jesus was pretty staunchly anti-ass kicking unless you're selling animals in the temple for sacrifice then he'll flip your tables and shit but he didn't beat anyone up he just threatened them with a whip which is a little bit different <laughs> care who likes what i do or not i do this go look at the video and see how many comments there are on this video there are three comments there are five if you count the ones that are replies by him <laughs> for me this is like my therapy and dealing with all you fucking retards out there Ooh. and since i was young i used to just punch people the fuck out so now for 11 years i'm peaceful nobody has to worry about that but again three or more people in mutual consent is a society can anyone force you to register? No. Can anyone lawfully force you to incorporate? No. Do you have to do either of those? No. If you don't do those, are you unregistered and unincorporated? Yes. Does TD have an unregistered, unincorporated society a bank account? Yes, they do. Is it called a sovereign account when you're going through their system? It is because I've seen it firsthand. Okay, ISO officers of the bank approve our stuff and prove it meets the international operating standards or standards of operation for how corporations are supposed to conduct themselves. And these are banks, high up banks that are international that I deal with. This is why I know this is right. Okay, I'm sure you and your organization can have a bank account. They set up bank accounts for corporations and nonprofits and LLCs all the time. That doesn't make you sovereign and not have the law apply to you. That's not how it works. Do you think that like someone who works for, I don't know, McDonald's because they're part of a corporation that the law doesn't apply to them all of a sudden because they're a part of a corporation? That's not how this works. Corporations exist as legal entities for a variety of practical reasons, for tax purposes, for, Legal purposes, all sorts of reasons, right? For organizing society. Did you realize I wasn't asking you to look at the comments on that video? I don't know what video he was talking about, though. He was talking about the video where he was threatening to fuck people up. Was it? Yes. Okay, well, I'll take a look at one of those videos then. Give me a sec. Like the one where he was saying, I'm a judge and you're fucked, bitch. Well, they only have 228 views, zero comments. He's probably deleted them by now. But it only, they have under half of 500. This one has a little over half. Yeah, he must have deleted them all. So fuck you, the guy from Quatloos. Fuck you to the lawyers, judges, FBI, anybody watching this. Fuck you. I am the law. I'm not above law, but my law is in harm. I love you too. With corporate law, common law, and natural law. He's Judge Dredd. He is the law. Let's get to some of these uh, bit messages since we're about halfway through the video and there's a lot of them piling up. 
<sighs> Sorry, I'm very I'm I'm getting there. Okay. Um Captain Rose says communism is when no bunny. Kath Psychic, thank you for hosting. Tucker White 94, message deleted by moderator. Tucker White 94 with 20 bits. All I know about society is that we live in one. Dr. Xanadu with 20 bits calling their group the family definitely doesn't make them sound like a cult. Daddy Sume with 20 bits says robot penis in reference to the microphone. Uh, Tucker White 94, so a society includes polygamy. <laughs> uh, eroding, thank you for following. Dr. Xanadu with 20 bits. Wait, so polyamorous relationship is a society because they have the common goal of boning? Awesome. <laughs> eroding with 400 bits thank you tucker white 94 20 bits three witnesses is considered valid testimony all right then at uh sexy new grows wing the ultimate nug and i once saw hannah and baja mug a russian on uh ganymede Gan Gan to buy smack true tucker white 94 20 bits but hannah he's a judge surely he has a judge knows more about the law than the former triangle player for sex abacus uh, Mankey Man, thank you for following Dr. Xanadu with 20 bits. These numbers are fraudulent because the observers weren't three inches away and they were counted. They were counting the subscribers. I actually have the most with 9 trillion subscribers. Harry K5 with 20 bits. I can deal with manga, cope, and chuds. I can deal with Q. I can deal with sovereign citizens. I can't deal with all these theories at once. It's the cringe conspiracy theory of everything. Um, a dear sigh with 69 bits. Hello, Hannah. Thank you. Uh, hello. Logarth, 20 bits. Brave words for a man with a pinky ring. Big Sky Pioneer with 20 bits. Uh, Violate, Lynch, wow, just wow. Dr. Gamble with 20 bits. He is Street Fighter. Dr. Gamble, R, I am very badass. Tucker White 94. Ah, yes, I too love the parable where Jesus said, let he who is without sin screech at the receptionist and say, fuck you, I'm a judge, bitch. <laughs> Harry K5 with 20 bits. Street fights, he probably had a concussion or three. I've heard about how MMA and pro wrestlers are attracted to Q and such, and I feel like there's a connection there. I'm a pro wrestling fan, and as a lefty, that saddens me. Don't get me wrong. There are good lefties in pro wrestling, and then casual snark with 20 bits. But he has so many societies telling him to get bent. <laughs> okay, we're caught up. Back to the video. As attested to on my identity document. Let's go back to screen share here. It'll take me just a second to go to my identity document. Let's go here and get this for you guys. Here we go. Oh, no, it's, I forgot which. No, I'm good. Thank you. Computer. I'm Actually, um, I have some pretzels and a little bag in the, you know, where the snacks are. Could you get me that? Thank you. Come on, this one has it ready. So here we go. It's either on page two or three, what I'm looking for. Okay. As you guys can hear the sirens in the background, nothing to do with me. <laughs> that's a little sus that that's even your first thought. Like if I hear sirens, thank you. If I hear sirens, my first thought isn't they're coming for me. <laughs> okay, so this is page three. Page two is the one I want. So, bottom here, birth certificate still exists, but Marcel Riley Bassett no longer contracts his private unalienable rights to be governed under act or statute, but rather is an unregistered, unincorporated flesh and blood man and living soul, which is now bound to peacemaker society, sovereign oath, as per lawful excuse, via claim of right, and is in harmony with corporate law, common law, and natural law. Okay, and this is a lawyer notarized identity document. Marcel the family bill set signed as peacemaker society sovereign member oath as a and the notice of understanding and intent and claim of right cured as law as per due process September 3rd 2009 said notice of understanding and intent and claim of right affidavit proof of service reference number LT 491438449 CA was accepted by Stephen Harper's office firstly on July 8th that the unregistered unincorporated man and living soul known as Marcel Riley Bassett reclaimed all enable rights as of September 3rd, 2009. He holds all his rights as sovereign rights held by indigenous power as per the cured claim of right, the living man, Marcel so Riley Bassett. So he wrote Bissett, up now, like a bullshit contract saying that he's rescinding his consent to society. You can't do that. Operates under the jurisdiction of peacemaker society law. So again, anyone who's talking shit that I'm not on the level is full of shit. I don't care if they're a lawyer or a judge. They're liable. And I know that from natural gas brokers I used to supervise. Hold on. I can do this, too. Let me pull something up. Is 
Oops, that's not what I wanted. I wanted this. Okay, guys, we're going to do the same thing with the exact same legal weight. Okay? Ready? Let me see if I can get this to work. Okay. Ready? This is going to be some serious legal galaxy brain stuff right here, okay? We got to make it big big font because that that that's what makes it legitimate, okay? And there we go. That's how it works. Once you type it in a Word document, that's how uh, that's how the law works, right? <laughs> now I can go rob a bank and the cops can't stop me. <laughs> All right. If you just pull a Michael Scott or something and write, I declare sovereignty. The law doesn't apply to me. So just so you know. Because you type it. it yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's how the law works, okay? I'm a super judge, actually, so I know. You're a super judge. I'm a super judge. It's like a judge, but like I'm better than a judge. I have like more legal powers. But if you're like, how can you be a judge like for us if you're not in our society? Um, that's part of my super judge powers. I can reach into society and dictate laws to others, but they don't apply to me. Yep. But not as interesting as that guy. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. And again, the Public Utility Board would write them up. Those were security interests. So Thank to you. all the people who think I'm upset, I laugh at anyone who doubts me. You don't affect my results. I'm only doing these videos because my students and I laugh at you. When you laugh at us, we laugh at you right back, but you're the more on suffering. I know I you're the one paying the taxes. I don't. You're the one honoring legal debts. I don't, unless it's somebody I want to keep dealing with. And then I do. I spend about ten to twenty thousand dollars a month on suppliers for very You spend ten to twenty thousand dollars a month? Where are you getting this money? things I run who know I'm credible we just bought a property we have an island that we're moving out to uh, so within that anyone who thinks I'm full of shit you can suck my D okay I don't care I come from the streets and again I am peaceful because people like you if you doubt me should be punched the fuck you're peaceful you just said you got in 500 street fights that's the opposite of peaceful out but luckily law says you can't be you have the right to be an ignorant fuck, but I have the right to point that out to you. I've never been to jail. I've been interrogated by police. I've been to court so many times it's not even funny. And within that, I win every time. I have no pending matters. Nothing's coming after me. And if they do, they lose. And I'm a badass motherfucker that people don't fuck with. So in my city, you may think I'm a joke elsewhere because I'm nowhere near you. But in my city, people know to respect me. And if they disrespect me, they know to fear me. Period. Now, I give mercy all the time. That's how come I'm so successful and I make so much money because I don't go after people. I'm not a psychopath. I have every right to within lawful terms. And before my oath, I felt completely correct punching people in the face if you fucked with me. I had no problem with physical violence at all. At all. I loved it. It was very fun because I'm really good at it. Uh, but within that, I'm not allowed to do that anymore, so I don't. The words so of again, a peaceful man right there. Is a society three or more people join a mutual consent for a common goal? Go look it up. Yes, it is. There are various ways it'll be described, but it'll be along those lines. Has my society had three or more people join a mutual consent to set this up? Yes, we have. Period. Has it been entrusted to me over time, and have I earned the right to run it? Yes, I have. Uh, is there a limitation of powers in the Corporations Act? Go look it up. See what that is. Uh, what are the rules of a valid contract? Go look that up. See if the contracts you're signing meet that. Can a government be a corporation and be lawful? No, they can't. The government is not a private for-profit corporation. I don't know where you people are getting this nonsense. It's not the case. Neither the United States government nor the Canadian government are corporations. They're just not. What are you talking about? It's a complete fiction that you've... Cre I don't think that he created it. 
I've heard this from other sovereign citizens, so it's got to be coming from somewhere. But it's complete nonsense. The United States government is not a corporation, at least not in the way they are using the term corporation. If you broadly define corporation as any group of people who come together to create an entity for a purpose, I guess... But by that same, you know, you know, any any group of people together is a corporation then. But that's not what it is. It's a public government. It's not the same thing as a corporation. No, they, you're a corporate government, not an actual government. There's a difference. Uh, so within that, if you're a license, if you, if you have a license and you're insured, are you incompetent or you would not lead, need insurance to cover your actions? Yes, you are. If you're limited liability, you're commercially incompetent. Hence, you're a fucking moron. You can't say shit to me. Anyone who wants to talk... What? Are you saying that because someone's part of an LLC, and LLC, for those who don't know, is a limited liability corporation, an LLC, and Jake and I have one of these, um, is basically an entity that shields you legally, personally, for actions done on behalf of the LLC. So, like... If McDonald's committed some malfeasance, let's say it turned out, and this is a hypothetical, this has not happened to my knowledge, the McRib's back. Let's say there were worms in the McRib and they were getting people very sick or something. Again, hypothetical. This is not something that's happening. Let's say the McRib has been infested with a parasite and thousands of people get these parasites. Now, they can sue McDonald's, which is a company... But they cannot personally sue, like, an individual on the board of directors at McDonald's or the CEO of McDonald's for the actions of the company. The LLC protects you from that. It's a limited liability corporation. The liability is limited to the corporation. You don't get to then sue individuals in the corporation unless it breaches some absolutely ridiculous, like, amount of malpractice. I'm sure there's some way you could get to them, but that's, you know, extraordinary circumstances. So, like, he's saying that because you're part of an LLC, you are inherently calling yourself incompetent, which is not the case. Anyone who's, like, <laughs> anyone who's operating in the public sphere in any capacity to make money should probably have an LLC. You just, you don't want to end up liable for, for shit like that. It's just not good. Shit needs to do it under full commercial liability, under penalty of perjury, under oath of attestation, or you're just a fucking loser talking shit. Everything I say is under full commercial liability, under penalty of perjury, under oath of attestation. And I adamantly hate police. Uh, even if police were law, I'd still say people should fight them. Fuck the police. I hate them either way. Okay, even if that were criminal, I would still hate them and advocate for people to fight the police. But they are criminal, so I'm actually the law advocating lawfully against criminal for-profit sales agents stealing from people. Um, is Canada Incorporated less listed on sec.gov at Massachusetts Avenue in Washington, D.C.? What you vote for, is that the same thing? Yes, it is. No, no, it's not. I'm sure there is a company somewhere called Canada Incorporated, but that doesn't mean that is the Canadian government. It means it is a company that happens to be called Canada Incorporated. Like, what? I'm sure there's also an America Incorporated, but that doesn't make it the American government. Are the law courts listed on Dun & Bradstreet? Yes, they are. Do banks open sovereign association bank accounts if it's a larger international bank? Yes, they do. Period. Are the Freemasons a real society? Yes, they are. <laughs> okay, the Freemasons exist, but it's like a gentleman's club. And not the strip club kind. I mean, it's like a fraternity for typically older men to go and do things for their community or hang out. Like, it's it's not nefarious. They rent out their, their spaces for, like, quinceañeras and bar mitzvahs and stuff. They're not, they're not, not a maniacal shadow society. It's just kind of a cringy fraternity for dudes did we reverse engineer how all that was set up and do it but so that we are correct a process and we don't do blood oaths and we don't put people under that system of criminality that the freemasons are it's my understanding that they murder and rape children fuck the no that escalated very quickly into some QAnon bullshit freemasons fuck everyone who supports them is it right to support the legal system when birth certificates are slavery bonds no Birth certificates are not slavery bonds. They are a certificate 
of your birth. It's what they are. They have a little information on them. They say, like, the hospital that you were born in, your name, your parents' names, if applicable. All that sign, you know, it's not a slavery certificate. Period. Is it right to enslave people through birth certificates as chattel property on a corporation's national debt? No. I would agree if that were the case, but it's not. That's a bunch of nonsense and none of that's true. Are you ethical if you work for that system in any way? No. Are you a piece of shit if you talk shit to me instead of just learning your rights? Yes. And does it affect me if you talk shit to me? No, it just means I'm not going to teach you and I get extreme joy from knowing you're going to suffer the rest of your fucking life because assholes like you made it I suffered before I claimed my rights. For 11 years, I don't suffer, you guys. I laugh at fucking peasant morons. I pray that anyone worth their salt who is like I was claims it and does it. And if you don't, will you suffer? Yes. So do I give a fuck? No. Either way. I'm going off to my land. I'm spending time with the people I love. This was just to show you guys what's up, what it takes to actually be solid. And uh, let's go to stop share screen here. So within that, I am so excited that I have so many fucking haters. I love it. Uh, all you people are going to suffer. <laughs> He's such a vindictive weirdo. What is up with... Don't you love when people are like, I'm not even mad. I love my haters. You're the best. Thanks, haters. Also, uh, you're going to suffer. <laughs> What kind of psychopathic behavior is this? And that brings me joy. Anyone who actually doesn't cooperate with law is criminally law. Jokes on him. I suffer all the time anyway with dysphoria. Hooray! <laughs> Bible and myself or others who are correct to process will hold you accountable in the future. And that fills me with joy. Um, to people who work the legal system and think you're not going to get found out, there are other lawyers who are against the system, eh? There are lots of people who know it's full of shit, can't stand it, and they are willing to do the right thing when you're not because you're a fucking sellout. And uh, as you guys know, law always goes harder on criminals who don't cooperate with law. So if you're one of these criminals supporting the legal system, you're exactly who we're coming for. I'm taking records of everyone's names and we will look up who you all are later uh we will have litigation and or private security and um but have you considered marcel that i do not consent to your vindictive behavior that's how it works right if i don't consent then you can't come after me legally isn't that how you think the law works just checking or sheriffs come arrest you in time and Oh, so he hates the police unless he can weaponize them against his enemies. Very consistent. So uh, all within peaceful, lawful means, all correct to process, which is why I will never go to jail for any of this. So to all the people out there who think this is full of shit, you're a fucking idiot. To all the people who know it's real, keep fighting the fight. You're the freedom heroes. I'm proud of you. Keep going. And all of you need what we have to open your own society so you can do the finances and actually operate in and out of the legal system within your own sovereign rights held by indigenous power and if you're born on earth you're indigenous to earth and to all the judges fbi cops for quat lose and all that shit are working the system against people's rights fuck you there's way more of us you guys are fucked there definitely aren't more sovereign citizens than there are people who are not sovereign citizens that's just factually untrue and it's easy to find out where you live and come to your houses eh so we're not afraid of any of you fuckers we're not that's a threat you can't do that you can't just threaten people I have a feeling, because this guy is going to be a regular on, on Sovereign Citizen Sunday or Saturday, whatever. Because he still posts regularly, right? He's been doing more stuff like this lately where it's like, oh, look at the birds doing, you know, bird feeder stuff. But, like, he does videos. I have a feeling at some point we're going to see him get arrested. Just because <laughs> this guy is a little unhinged. He literally threatened that he was going to find people's information yeah. from their names. And come find them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's... That's gotta... Be, I don't know Canadian law, I guess, but I feel like that's a direct threat, which is potentially illegal. It's and definitely against YouTube terms of service. I don't know about the law. If he works on YouTube, then he is also liable for what he says, like, under U.S. law. Sure. YouTube is a... Mm-hmm. U.S. US corporation. Yeah. YouTube is a U.S. corporation, unlike the Canadian government. <laughs> gonna fight you as a whole we're gonna come out he claims canada as a u okay 
after you one on one, peacefully, lawfully, within correct process. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, this was the sacred circle that we taped our event at, and uh, I felt like an appropriate place to invite you guys to to have this conversation. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys in the next video. I am Marcel, the family beset, 100% proven, loving it, loving my haters. Uh, they can go fuck themselves, but I love I have them. And the more they hate, the more I know I'm right. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you guys soon. Go answer those questions and just know you have rights. Absolutely, you do. Look at the Nuremberg trials. Uh, look up the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. Look up the, uh, the, there's so many documents out there, it's not even funny. And within that, you create your own documents. Those are merely reference that rights exist for the morons in the legal system who are sellouts who believe they have the right to use force to force people to do shit. That's exactly. You're literally threatened to be threatening to use force to to get people to stop criticizing you. You're doing the thing. Why are you a hypocrite? What's wrong with the world? If you bring a woman on a date, or you're on a date with a, a man or woman, you bring them back to your home, and you think they have to have sex with you just because they cross the threshold into your house, you're gonna get charged with rape pretty quick and be going to fucking jail. The same thing goes for all the people forcing contract. Fuck you. Laws. You're comparing following the law to assaulting someone, which is, you're, you're comparing opposites. You're comparing being compelled to follow the law with breaking the law. You're, I, I don't think I've ever heard a less apt metaphor for anything ever. Coming for you, we're not backing down. And even if I were criminal, I'd still fight you fucking guys, but I'm not. I'm correct to process. My identity documents prove it, as does Mike Cook, Michelle Maddock, all the different layers of the legal system that have acknowledged us. You can go to testimonials on peacemakersociety.org to see it and fuck my haters. Thank you, guys. Cheers. And I'm having a great time. I love all this shit. I even love fighting with people. So this is all fun for me. I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers, guys. Bye. Wowzers. Let's see what the comments were. I know he, he responded to some people in the comments. <gasps> This person says, hi, society. And he says, hi, hope you're well. Stay tuned. We have many programs coming. Enjoy your rights. Learn them ASAP. Thank you for support and the warm hello. Thank you, Marcel, for showing and putting out this information. Greatly appreciated. Glad it was helpful. Give me a call whenever works. If I don't answer, leave a number and I'll call you back, my good man. Stay strong. Lots of people working. They're just all censored. LOL. Chat soon. So... Let's take it. Does he have a link to his website on here somewhere? I don't see it. Um, the Peacemaker Society. Let me see if we can find his website. Peacemakersociety.org. This is definitely his website because we saw what it looked like in the video. Global Competent Law Government. Apply now. Why does he set all the videos to autoplay? That's annoying. We are global. Strip your rights. Let me see. Is he selling anything? Ooh, he's had 22,000 hits. Amazing. Wait, why does he have a song from The Greatest Showman? <laughs> Embedded in his front page. Okay, fine. Uh, let me see. Freedom package. Ooh. You gotta enter a password to get in the guest area. Ooh, ah, mysterious. So mysterious. Uh, where do I see how much it cost? 2020 rates. Peacemaker Society, minimum gift, student rate sheet. Good news, for 2020 we have new affordable rates. Basic new rates as freedom under attack by hoax COVID-19. $250 a month for 12 months or $2,500 a year. Oh no. Our normal personal coaching rates, which include personal coaching, bronze pack number one equals $500 for one month. All rights reserved university.org. Course and one hour mastermind consulting. Silver package, $1,500 for two months. Gold package, $5,000 for six months. VIP sovereign package, $10,000 for a year with 40 hours of mastermind consulting. Business group package, $25,000 a year and 100 mastermind consulting. So there we go. In my opinion, and let me be clear, legally, when I say, this is my opinion, not necessarily Peace, a fact. Oh god, will it stop? Make it stop. You can't, like, exit out of the guest area without closing out the whole web page. 
Here's my opinion on the matter. It seems pretty grifty to me. <laughs> I don't know if he actually believes all this nonsense. I think this might be, again, in my opinion, a grift. And he's scamming people into giving him hundreds, if not thousands and thousands of dollars. So, that's fun. We'll keep an eye on Marcel Bissette and see how his, uh, it's called a business endeavor, continues into the future. Should be interesting. Anyway, done with him for the day.